Hey guys, what's up? It's Sonic Lopsided. Welcome back to a new video. And today I'm talking about something that's pretty important uh, to anybody that might have bought Call of Duty Infinite Warfare on the PC. So there has been a little bit of a problem with Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. It's definitely not gained as much popularity and grabbed a hold of the market as um, Activision would have loved to see. Um, it's it's kind of a subpar game as far as the reviews go. Um, in my experience, it's not the best FPS game out there right now. Uh, there are more than three contenders right now that could definitely pull pull that way. And I think that Battlefield might actually be Call of Duty this year. But I want to talk about the the PC version of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare here for a second. Um, so basically what Activision did, and I'm going to go back. Let's go back before I go forward. Um, so whenever you put a game out, whenever a publisher puts a game out, they can put it on Steam. Uh, you can purchase it on Steam. Or there's the other hand where you can sell a physical copy um, and it's basically, uh, you know, at that point you buy it on the Windows Store, I guess. Um, you can buy games in two different places for PC and play the same game on the same system. It's weird. You can buy them on Windows 10. You can buy them on Steam. It's kind of weird, the PC situation right now. So what Activision did was they, they, they put it out for both, both options. You can buy it on Windows 10. You can buy it on Steam. But if you buy it on Steam... It doesn't connect you peer to peer with the same audience that bought it on Windows 10. So basically what this means is if your buddy bought the game on the Windows 10 store and you bought it on the Steam store, you guys can't play together. You can't get connected together. It's it's two separate entities. Um, it's so weird. It's so weird that they would choose to do this this way. And I was reading on an article that Microsoft doesn't make it this way. Um, you know, they don't care if, if a Windows game plays with a Steam game. It doesn't matter. Um, this was a choice on Activision's part. And it's it's kind of crazy. Uh, given that the, the base, the player base on PC is much smaller than it is on the consoles, uh, there's still a pretty dedicated fan base that only plays on PC. So it's kind of weird that um, they would choose voluntarily to do something like this to make a smaller player base even smaller. And it's so small to the point that uh, the Windows 10 users are saying that there's barely anybody online. You can't connect to anybody. There's, there's, there's such a small amount of players that purchased it this way that it, it's, it's unplayable online. So Microsoft is actually being forced now to issue refunds for anybody that purchased the game on Windows 10 uh, because of the outrage from the player base. Um, it's just non-existent. Uh, I think we'll see probably a patch by Activision uh, in the future to kind of get these two together. Uh, it's weird that Activision hasn't went the way of um, servers yet. They, they run on a peer-to-peer -peer connection, so um, you require two static IP addresses. So, so there's an IP address for you, there's an IP address for the player that you're playing against. They have to play together nicely in order for you to be able to connect to that person and play. That's why you have your open, moderate, and strict NAT types. Um, myself, I, I don't know what's going on with my system, so I run a strict NAT type all the time, so I have connection problems all the time. Um, but like Battlefield uses servers, so you browse for the server you want to play on, you connect to that server, massive amounts of people can play at one time. And from my understanding, that's a better way to go about gaming uh, because you have no issues with, with connections um, because there's no peer-to-peer -peer going on. Uh, so your IP addresses don't have to play nicely together in order for you to be able to play nicely together, I guess is, is the best way to put this. Um, so if you bought the game on Windows 10 and you're watching this video, go get yourself a refund, buy it on Steam. That's your best option. Or if you want to play with more people, buy it on, on, on a console because that's where the base is. That's where the player base is. Um, and uh, let me know your comments down below. I want to know what you guys think on this. Whether you think um, kind of Activision, what, what were their process, their thought process on this? I really don't know. Uh, let me know if you're playing Infant Warfare, if you like it. Uh, I would love to, love to know that, get a, get a little conversation going here. And I uh, hope you guys like this video. This has been Sonic Lopsided, and I'll catch you guys as always in the next video.